I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Uh, I need some whiskey. Sober up, sir. I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. 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 It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. It is the key card for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. I had better not turn it inside out now. It is not safe to open my wallet here. It is the key card for my room. Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. The light is turned on and I do not see a light switch. completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. 
Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. It's a cell phone. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. I already have it. The cell phone has no reception. It's an empty whiskey bottle. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. <laughs> Sounds like someone in the sewer is playing the violin. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. I don't want to pick that up. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect.
Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. I agree, Agent Ray. You wouldn't happen to have any film on you. Sure do. I've had enough chatting. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Like I don't have enough to carry already. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. We should go find the sheriff. Good plan, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting. It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Flem Games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. It's 
signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death, yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Click, click, click. Beep. Squeak. Click. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Boop. Eek. Eek. Wah. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Two minds like yours should be able to figure it out. Beep. Click, 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 beep, boop, was squeak. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. Beep, Heek. click, 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 was. From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. 
saves wildlife. That's the cemetery down there. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Michigan, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada, Georgia, Virginia, Connecticut, Vermont, Maryland, Kansas, North Carolina, Texas, Montana, Tennessee, South Dakota, District of Columbia, Florida, South Carolina, Washington, Arizona, Montana, New Jersey, Utah, Delaware, Kentucky, Maine, Ohio, Mississippi, Illinois, North Dakota, Nebraska, Arkansas, Colorado, Louisiana, New York, New Mexico, Missouri, West Virginia, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Iowa, Wyoming, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, Oregon, Indiana, Alabama, and Michigan. Wait for me. We should go find the sheriff. Good idea, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting. More like Thimble Stupid. It says Main Street. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. Interesting. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Ah, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. 
I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? A good place to get a drink. It's closed. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. What does that mean? Wanted, Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted, huh? A meteor? Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. The desk has no drawers. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer due. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Breaker one nine, breaker, breaker. Attention, all units. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Chuck Edmund is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It looks like a big computer. the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, Who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. 
Oh, do enlighten us. Ooh, I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray? It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas a who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. I can't pull that. I can't push that. Time to go talk to the sheriff again. I agree, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting.
Lots of medical books there. There's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Insert two photos of an individual and the Facetron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape. The Fingertron 3000 will check if they match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Maybe they should call it Vampiretron? Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Arenos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the arrestron? Yes, the arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Strange signals are being transmitted by the government over the airwaves. We've taken over the radio station until they stop. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. I can't believe you thought I didn't know there wasn't a home office in Albuquerque. Eh, it was worth a shot. You're irritating me less than I expected, but don't let it go to your head. That's quite a compliment coming from you. I keep finding these specks of dust all over the place. Weird. There is something I don't like about this town. A lot of it makes no sense. There is something deeper going on here. 
Stay out of my way and you might learn something. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It says, we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for our savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. Ah! 
Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. It came off the wall. My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. Meanest Clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the Clown. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the Clown $1,000 and will hold his It's an IOU. Ransom the Clown lost $1,000 to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. What the hell is this? The number Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. What? You think this is Alice in Wonderland? My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Ransom. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. F you! Ransom, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I can't get up! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I'll steal your clown nose again! That's what I'll do! Push! Ransom, you're a total... I'll steal your clown nose again! That's what I'll do! Push! Ransom, you jerk! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! Ransom, you're a total... Ransom, you jerk! I'll steal your clown nose again! That's what I'll do!
It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. That doesn't seem to work. I'll just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. It's the list of all the who swore here at the circus. I'm the only who can swear. All the rest have to pay up. My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Now there's the face I love. It's my special custom made clown makeup. I am Tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. I don't wear hats. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must. No waiting. Take a shot. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown. One thousand clams, or you're not getting your joke book back. Yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the ten kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus... $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. How many kids do you say you have? I have ten kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing.
you. I'm out of here. Win a fine. I'll get you, Ransom the Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't... Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't work. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the Clown! It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Except now, it's missing its nose. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't work. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. Ransom, you're a total... Ransom, you jerk! Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... 
Tough. Ah, next time I'm setting it to one, two, three. Scratch you're a total. Scratch you're a total. Grand prize if you can shoot the hair off, ransom the clown. You got my money, ransom the ass white clown. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Lots of prizes. Scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Come on over! I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home! Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen, yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! The f you, old lady! You up the f you Come on! As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you 
Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beef yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. What can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird of Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Do you have a law enforcement discount? And by discount, I mean free. I think I understand, honey. And yes, we do. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visiting the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the Schweinshaxe. Sorry, honey. Foreign businessman got the last one a few nights ago. Been a big rush on exotic foods these past few weeks. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the pie. Sorry. Dave ate the last piece. See, Dave? I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. It was starting to go bad. Shut up, Dave. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a salad. Watching your figure. Good for you, honey. Yeah, but we're out of salad. I know someone who could stand to eat more salad. Shut up, Dave. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go.
ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. I don't want to pick that up. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. You gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. It's a dime. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. There is a sign on the door. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will, of course, refrain from perusing its contents. Agent Protocol. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. Pretty disgusting. ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. I don't want to pick that up. I can't pull that. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. where we can talk. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Sounds like an interesting turn of events. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? I'm all tubed out, thanks. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. There. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Oh, yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. It's a WC67 tube.
excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Call center operative? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie, hot from the oven. Uncle Chuck wrote an epic poem about this gorgeous pie. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. It's a red gel decoder. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. I don't want to pick that up. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. My state-of-the-art Commodore 64 is turned on now. I'm bored playing games. I want a job at Mucus Phlegm so I can make games. I should check the mailbox. Maybe my computer magazines arrived with some new game reviews. These are part of my action figure collection. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. You're a rebel, Billy. Albert's my hero.
If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Just have to keep going. trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy-tronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 08 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. It's a whip made out of network cables. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by GetDigital.eu. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient system admin back in the day. It's a defunct robot prototype. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. I can't open that. Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. 
It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. It's a TX1138 tube in perfect condition. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you... Look, Uncle Chuck, your favorite, a freshly baked thimbleberry pie from the pie shop. Why, thank you, Dolores. You know me and my love for thimbleberry pie well. I'll eat this as soon as I finish this little project. It's a defunct robot prototype. That doesn't seem to work. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would... Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores! How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 Library Filing Lookup System. It uses the Spewy Decimal System to catalog books. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. It says, out of order. Sorry Dolores had to witness that. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea, and he's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence, and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Someone ought to clean up that ketchup spill. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. That doesn't seem to work. It doesn't work with that. There's nothing inside. 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 There's nothing inside.
There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. That doesn't seem to work. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. It doesn't work with that. I don't know how to use the fireplace with that. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply! Interesting. There's a modem number to call. It's our special Mailtron 3000 mailbox. Postman comes once a day. It's very dry firewood. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay. 
back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Next question. How many parameters can functions take? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected. My personal information has been entered. Just have to answer the hard mucus questions. This section includes the complete history of mucus phlegm, the pointed history of point-and-click graphic adventures, and walkthroughs for all mucus phlegm games. These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do a TV show. I don't need these. Pretty much memorized them all. I need some help. Gotta find a book on mucus. If only there were a large library nearby. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. My dear Dolores, I know how you like to use my equipment. And you may use it all you want as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine better not. 
That might start a fire. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. It doesn't work with that. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Dolores, I'm busy working on my masterpiece. Don't touch. You can program him after you've taken over at the Pillow Factory. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get access to it and what's behind it after you've taken over the Pillow Factory. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. My dear Dolores, please leave my box alone. You may open it up as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory. My dear Dolores, please leave my box alone. You may open it up as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over... It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. <sighs> the sign says it's out of order. The sign says it's out of order. Why do I let him talk to me like that? I already got enough firewood. This log should burn really well now.
I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. I don't want to whip anything with this. Carefully handling broken glass? If this were a Sierra Online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay? Sure would like to work there. I don't want to pick that up. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. set it on fire with my breath. I actually set it on fire with my breath. That will definitely make Uncle Chuck happy. Burning up his mail? No thanks. I don't feel like the taste for non-trainmark infringing poopsie now. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. It doesn't work with that. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. That would just make a mess. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. I don't feel like the taste for non-trainmark infringing poopsie now. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. I don't want to waste it on that. Hmm, 
It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragonslayer. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. 
That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Next question. How many parameters can functions take? Next question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. I can't pull that. This printer ribbon looks all dried out. It won't print anything. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are. The application is all filled out. Just have to send it in. The glass is now filled with chainsaw gas. We'll just make the letter soggy. 
I don't think they're good. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office. I don't feel like the taste for a non trademark infringing poopsie now. It doesn't work in that. 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 Better not. That might start a fire. It says, out of order. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. It's a glass filled with chainsaw gas. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. I don't want to open it. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Why do I let him talk to me like that? Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. I'd better hold on to this. Why do I let him talk to me like that? I'd better hold on to this. I'd better hold on to this. This is depressing. I'd better hold on to this. 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 Chuck is such a bully. Still impressive. It doesn't work in that.
I should stick up for myself. I'd better hold on to this. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Why do I let him talk to me like that? I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Hi, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. I should stick up for myself. Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now. That would kill poor Chucky. I'm at the staircase. Should I... I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? It's a glass filled with chainsaw gas. I don't feel like the taste for a non-trainmark infringing poopsie now. Ugh, I'm definitely not hungry for soggy lettuce. That hit the spot! I don't feel like the taste for a non-trainmark infringing poopsie now. doesn't seem to work. I'm not giving this away. No one else will understand it. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by getdigital.eu. I don't want to whip anything with this. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by GetDigital.eu. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. It's special gas for chainsaws only. It's pretty full.
I poured some of that gas into the bottle. The bottle already has gas in it. I'm emptying the gas back into the can. Probably safer in there. The ink bottle already has gas in it. It doesn't work with that. It doesn't work with that. It doesn't work with that. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? I'll deal with it later. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the Pillow Factory and restore the family heritage. It's a defunct robot prototype. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you? Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch? Hmm, Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? Still impressive. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. It doesn't work in that. The glass is now filled with water. That will just make the letter soggy. I'd better not mix water with that chainsaw gas. I don't think they're good for anything. It's a glass filled with water. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. 
It doesn't work in that. The letter's hot, but I need steam to get the stamps off. It's a couple of uncancelled stamps. Still sticky. My letter to Mucus Flem is now stamped and ready to mail. How exciting! I hope I get the job! Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you! Oh! Good luck! See ya! It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. I don't want to whip anything with this. Come on, Dolores, open that letter. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? Yes, but I thought you should hold on to it. Good idea, Dolores. And thank you for saving me the trouble of unsealing it. You know how much I hate opening mail. It's a defunct robot prototype. That doesn't seem to work. I'm not
not giving this away. No one else will understand it. Come on, it's a letter from Mucus Flem. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Done with the computer for now. That doesn't seem to close. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Come on, Dolores, open that letter. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... I can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck about my job offer. He'll be so proud. Why not plush toys? I got a job offer from Mucus Flem. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He really wants you to take over the pillow factory. Once he sees what I'm capable of, he'll be happy for me. I... I don't know, Dolores. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Chuck is such a bully. Here you go, Chucky. Drink up. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough for now. Take that, Sierra Online! I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. Why do I let him talk to me like that? Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. 
not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future, you are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. That ransom the clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. No one is in there. Hmm. I haven't seen Agent... I don't want to pick that up. It's for a mucus phlegm adventure game called Jason the News Guy. I can't open that. I can't open that. It says Tokentron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each and every time. A maximum of 12 tokens allowed in circulation at once. It's the famous game Tuna Head. It's out of order. It's out of order. It's out of order. I'm Here's your WC six seven two. Thank you. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. No time to talk. <laughs> we have to tidy up and split like a wishbone. <laughs> yeah, little pigeon dick.
I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the Sixth Amendment? Nope. That protects the right to a fair and speedy public trial by jury, including the rights to be notified of the accusations, to confront the accuser, and to retain counsel. Don't you mean the Twentieth Amendment? Nope. That changes the date on which the terms of the President, Vice President, Senators, and Representatives begin and end. Don't you mean the 26th Amendment? Nope. That prohibits the denial of the right of U.S. citizens 18 years of age or older to vote on account of age. Don't you mean the Third Amendment? Nope. That places restrictions on the quartering of soldiers in private homes without the owner's consent, prohibiting it during peacetime. Don't you mean the Seventh Amendment? Nope. That provides for the right to trial by jury in certain civil cases, according to common law. Don't you mean the Twenty-Fifth Amendment? Nope. That addresses succession to the presidency and establishes procedures for filling a vacancy in the office of the vice president. Don't you mean the Fourth Amendment? No. That prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures and sets out requirements for search warrants based on probable cause. Don't you mean the Third Amendment? Nope. That places restrictions on the quartering of soldiers in private homes without the owner's consent, prohibiting it during peacetime. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of oddorino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Aardvark insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... What? The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the pillow factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence, and I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? <sighs> you? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. What do you know about the pillow factory fire? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena, if you know what I mean. I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. 
Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. I'd better start looking for Agent Ray. Thimbleweed Nickel. Established 19... It's a map of the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. Kutenberg would be proud. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. It's a color copy from 3000. I don't want to open it. Color copy tron 3000 for all your copying needs. Copies 5 cents each. Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. A totally radical convention with all your favorite sci-fi shows, comic books, and the... Where can Agent Ray be? Key ceremony at City Hall. Come and watch beloved entrepreneur Arino Chuck Edmund receive the key to the town for his contributions to the local economy. Complimentary shrimp buffet for attendees at the Edmund Hotel after the ceremony. Playtime is over at the Park Arcade. Blast bad guys in a tournament of our latest game, Die, Enemy, Die. Highest scorer gets free tokens all night. Wanted. Boost donations. Help out old Willy with a contribution straight to his liver. <laughs> Come find me by the burning trash can near Occult Books. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Dad wanted sons but he got daughters. So let us fix your leaking waters. With our latest Wrenchtron 3000 technology, we can fix paranormal emergencies, possibly. Bust on down to the bakery, cause Ricky's Cakes is going out of business. The hotcakes are not as popular as we expected, so we're selling in bulk. 50% discount on thimbleberry pie when you grab one of Ricky's sticky buns. Turn your dials to KSCUM 198.7 FM for the gnarliest hits from local artists. DJ Cassie says, I hope you like Tune Ahead. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline act, Ransom the Insult Clown. Minors must be accompanied by an adult, and if you're offended, it's your own beeping fault. Your sheriff wants you to be clean and green arena. Don't lead around the highway or vandalize the storefronts. Agent Ray? Agent Ray, can you hear me? Safely first savings. Where saving safely is saving smartly. Please note that homeless people and tentacle creatures are not eligible for small business loans. Razor and the Skamets playing live at the Hitching Post. Support by GT and the Suction Cups. Mechanical bull rides free all night. Roses are red, pillows are white. Get our special bundle and stay up all night. $50 Valentine's special at Fancy Nancy Flowers, sponsored by Pillowtronics. Your sheriff wants you to be clean and green areno. Don't lead around the highway or vandalize the storefronts. You should also wear better clothes. Paid for by the Lenore Edmund Mulch Beautification of Thimbleweed Park Project.
Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> good one. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship-shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. We should post off his boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box and we promise not to peek inside your mail. It's a postal scale. It says for government use only. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You got any rants? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet? I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. You really want to play this game? <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It looks like something with blood on it. That's not blood, just river mud. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um, well I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't know. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way, for now.
Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics Playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? It's been long enough. Maybe you should just try switching to Agent Ray. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm, hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. I can't budget. I'm looking for an escape route. But I'm looking to go up, not down. I can't turn it. It's made of plastic. No murder here. I can't turn this one either. That grate won't come off. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. You got any ransom swag? Buy me some kombucha? It says occult books. Cast your lot before it's too late. This head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. <gasps> Creepy. Hmm. 
No way I'm touching that. Not getting any closer to that. I can't reach that. It's the Book of the Dead. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But beware! Beware of what? Huh, <laughs> nothing. It just sounded ominous. It's a package of tea. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or... or, uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Fascinating. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Yeah, you go to the quickie, pal. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an agaricus fungus visionum delectamentum mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex Ransom the Clown? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little 
beat down with the karma bat. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bat, Agent Reyes? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Tell me about yourself, Madame Morina. There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it was a serious spiritual practice? I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm gonna retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. Why did you set up shop here? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Looks like they're having a big sailing there. Have you seen my dime? It needs a dime to work. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. It's sealed shut. No way to open it.
I used to have a dime, but I, I dropped it. Hey, if you see a dime, it's mine. There's nothing up ahead but road. The town's in the other direction. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. That's a huge toilet. Seems out of scale. Huh, I look good. It's stuck. Oh, no way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not Holden if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes of the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, 
I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No. You just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Ah, these flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal for one. I'm going to- Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's sweet! It's an I'm sorry your hamster died card. Oh no! It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like a beep card. Jeez! How about that sunset? It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. There's a picture of a clown with a lot of hair. Let me know if I can help you with anything. It's an I'm sorry you were cut out of the inheritance card. Let me know if I can help you find anything. It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. Let me know if- Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. I'd play if it were a sure thing. Don't forget to smile at the camera. My boss likes happy people. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Agent Ray. Agent Ray, is that you? No, it's the Pope. The Vatican decided to take me on a tour of the sewers. Of course it's me, you idiot. Why are you in the sewer? 
Enjoying the sights and smells, practicing my sewer spelunking hobby, hunting for ninja turtles. Take your pick. You go spelunking? No, you moron. Someone attacked me when I was investigating the alley behind the diner. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need medical attention? I'm fine. I've woken up in worse states and in worse places than this. But usually there was tequila involved. Did you see who attacked you? I will have them arrested so fast, their head will spin. No, they came at me from behind. It was lights out before I had a chance to turn around. But I'm guessing whoever it was doesn't like us poking around town. We'll make them pay for this, Agent Ray. Just as soon as we get you out of that sewer. Have you looked around the sewers yet? Yeah, and I couldn't find an exit. There is a payphone down here, though, so I might be able to call someone. Neat! Except I don't have any dimes, and my cell phone doesn't work down here. Stand back, Agent Ray. I'll drop you a dime. It needs a dime to work. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone. Thanks. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no Donut Arenos down here. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Yeah, I'll run that up the home office of Reno flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. Oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Reno. I don't want to pick that up. I'm not opening up that disgust. Pretty disgusting. It's locked. Stay out of my way, and you might learn something. We should go talk to that creepy clown. Good plan, Agent Ray. We should go talk to that murder simulator programmer. Hmm, good idea, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting.
This grate is both bolted and welded shut. No way I'm going to open it. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. You have to admit, it's a nice view of Reno up here. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. I need to stay focused and solve this... I know it's beautiful, but you can't remove it.
Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope, it's a priceless original. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you have any maps of the county? Oh, sorry, Dudat. We're all out of them. Sheriff Arino came by and nabbed them all. <laughs> Didn't even pay for them. Uncool. Way uncool, man. Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you like telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. I'm going to look around your store. Standard CD issued desk, but with no drawers. Just a bunch of files, 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 just a bunch of files. They must have moved the body from the river. Ah! 
You scare a reno me! I mean, scare a hood me! <laughs> uh, sorry about that. What is that creepy violin music? I have no idea. It comes through the plumbing. Okay, back to sleep a who. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. your eyeballs off it. What am I going to do with a pile of dust? Very plush for thimbleweed toilet paper. The label says Hao Ling King Yao Tea, a magical tea. Gives you the gift of speaking many languages. Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Phlegm Games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Save wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. It's an empty soda bottle. Five-cent deposit in Michigan, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada, Georgia. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified. It's my specks of dust. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. I don't want to open it. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope, it's a priceless original. Do you offer home delivery? 
Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the diner and a possible car accident. The headline gives me enough information. Thimbleweed Park guided tours? You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Bye bye, tuna heads. Saves wildlife. Have you seen my dime? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? You got any ransom swag? Hey, buy me a drink? You got any loose change? It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong-sized body hole. Hey, that's my favorite brand. <laughs> Too bad it's empty. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? You got any rent? It only works on the room doors in the hotel. Throw it away? I don't think so. You got any gluten free donuts? You got any ransom swag? Have you seen my dime? Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Flem Games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? You got any ransom sweat? It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup, though. He doesn't want it. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup, though. You got any gluten-free donuts? Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you do it. Hello? Is this the sheriff again? Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you do it. Hello? Is this the sheriff again? Hello? Hello? Someone there? Loose change? You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? Cast your lot before it's too late.
It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic special drops. The label says, restores your vision with a soothing river of tears. Side effects may invoke painful memories. It looks pretty ratty, and I do mean ratty. No way I'm touching that. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. You got any loose change? Thimble oh no. <laughs> Why am I so cynical? <laughs> I just want to be successful and have the other agents like me. <laughs> well, I feel better. Buy me some kombucha? The monkey paw knows. Buy me a drink? Hey, buy me a drink? You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. No, they're fine where they are. They're boxes waiting to be shipped, or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. Uh, that tape is for official government business only. Uh, that tape is for official government business only. It's a sticky tape dispenser. It says, for government use only, violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Well, take a look at this badge. Let me see that. Ah, oh, you work for the government, too. Uh, okay, go easy on the tape. We're almost out. Well, since you're with the government, I guess you're entitled to some tape. Just go easy on it. We're almost out. It's a piece of sticky tape. Nah, must be a better use for it. You got any loose change? You got any ransom swag? Loose change? You got I'll keep it outside of the kit. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Buy me some kombucha? 
You got it. I'll keep it outside of the kit. You got any loose change? to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Disgusting. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. 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 Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. Blah! <sighs> I feel better now. The label says Hao Ling King Yao Tea, a magical tea, gives you the gift of speaking many languages. A pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep the Navigator's Head. Very plush for thimbleweed toilet paper. Flowers left over from a funeral. The heavy rough iron gate is closed. I see a switch inside.
I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. I'd better hold on to this until later. I don't need more flowers. I'd better hold on to this until later. Buy me some kombucha? You got any loose change? You got any loose change? Nah, must be a better use for it. Buy me some kombucha? Hey. Nah, must be a better use for it. You got any ransom swag? You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Hey, buy me a drink? Nah, must be a better use for it. You got any, uh, crystals? I'll keep it outside of the kit. Thimbleweed. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron. Nah. Must be a better use for it. Hey, buy me a drink? You got any gluten-free donuts? Buy me some kombucha? some swag The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. He 
this suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. There's no wallet in his pockets, but we found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. Buy me some kombucha? I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. Hand it over and save us both a lot of trouble. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. Look, just hand the wallet over. It's mine. Finders keepers. Hand over the damn wallet. Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I could legally beat you senseless for the wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Loose change? You got any ransom swag? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine.
it's out of order. Who could be afraid of a meteor? Especially one that's purple. It seems to be out of tokens. I can't open that. I can't open that. I like it when the enemies die. Very realistic red pixel blood. It's out of order. It's out of order. I can't open that. Space slime. Who'd want to play this? It seems to be out of tokens. I can't open that. It seems to be out of tokens. Gotta be crazy mad to play this game. Or you'll be crazy mad when you finished. It's the famous game, Tuna Head. It's out of order. It's out of order. I can't open that. It says, Tokentron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each and every time. A maximum of 12 tokens allowed in circulation at once. It's out of tokens. I guess I need to find tokens somewhere else. I can't open that. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. If by look at, you mean smell, I've already done that. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. I can't open that. No one is in there. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-base technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure, but it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut.
That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. I can't push that. Safely first savings, this is Mr. El Palo. I'm away right now. Please call back later. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. I don't want to pick that up. I can't pull that. I can't push that. I don't want to pick that up. I can't open that. It's just a stack of empty boxes. It's locked. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. Interesting. Welcome to the fully automated Hinttron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now.
You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? Thank you, goodbye. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? The maps are gone from the Quickie Pal, who might have a map. Thank you, goodbye. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Well, the law of Reno is the law of Reno. No wandering around without a map. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Not a chance. The Feds never give up. Or should I say, the Fed Arenos never give up. I see. Now you're mocking me. Where do I find an official map? Well, the county is plumb Reno out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. I don't want to pick that up. I don't want to pick that up. I don't want to pick that up. It's already open. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. 
Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Lots of medical books there. Lots of medical books there. Lots of medical books there. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. Lots of medical books there. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Sean by Sheriff Crook. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. The inscription says Pilotronics, the brain of our city. I don't want to pick that up. Breaker, one nine, breaker, breaker. Attention, all units. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The government is brainwashing you with secret transmissions. We just don't know where they are coming from. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Gluten-free donuts? Have you seen my dime? Have you seen my dime? I'd better hold on to this until later. You got any gluten-free donuts? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? You got any ransom swag? Have you seen my dime? Thank you. 
Nah, must be a better use for it. Nah, must be a better use for it. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. face in there. Insert two photos of an individual and the Facetron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape. The Fingertron 3000 will check if they match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic Special Drops. The label says, restores your vision with a soothing river of tears. Side effects may invoke painful memories. Oh no. <laughs> Why am I so cynical? <laughs> I just want to be successful and have the other agents like me. <laughs> wow, I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> 